All right, guys. So um, this video is uh, going to be about kind of. Like, I did this before when Tech when Tekken Eight was coming out, and I talked about like guest characters that we could see because let's be real, Tekken had some wild ass uh, guest characters, didn't they? They had some like straight up wild. They were straight up wildin' with the with the guest characters. So I thought it'd be cool to kind of revisit that list and talk about characters. I would love to see guest star in Tekken, and you guys really respond to the Giga Bash one. And yeah, it's not like I've like every time I talk about guest character lists, they always kind of uh, do well with uh, flying colors. So let's talk about that. Like, let's talk about like what guest characters I would love to see. Some of them make sense, some of them don't. But then again, we did have Negan and Noctis from Final Fantasy. So I guess anything's really really possible really now i will say that like even if i don't get these wrong even if i do get don't get these right it's totally fine this is just a guest character west wish list that may or may not happen um but again we had a final fantasy character we had a walking dead character in the in the last tekken game i think we can have a little fun here so i'm not gonna say like go, like dragon ball z characters or something although that could happen i think it like and it is, uh, like, the characters that made the most sense were Akuma, who was part of the story, even if he was a guest character. It basically solidifies that Street Fighter and Tekken exist in the same universe. And Geese Howard from Fatal Fury, um, when that character became a main ca became a guest character. Um, from uh, So, am I going to say, like, I think there is a chance, I will say, even though I'm not the biggest fan of Fatal Fury... I do think that we will get either a Virtua Fighter uh, or Fatal Fury game character. I do think that's possible. Whether that be Terry or someone else, I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, it's it's possible. Like, I do think that's the strongest possibility, because those characters do interact a lot with Tekken. Anyway, let's get started. So the first off, the characters I would love to see, and this one makes the most sense to me as a guest character, is none other than Baki. Baki Hanma from Baki the Grappler. There has been a lot of rumor that Baki may show up. Baki makes a lot of sense. If not him, Yujiro Hanma would be really cool. I would actually prefer to have Yujiro in here. I don't want Pickle in here because I just can't... Like, the villain's name is Pickle. Come on, guys. But Yujiro would be really cool. Yujiro or, ba or Baki... Would uh, either of the Hanmas would be really cool? I think that they fit seamlessly into the Tekken universe, and to see like Yajiro take on Kazuya would be awesome. Or to see Jin fight Baki, that's a fight I would love to see. Um, I do think they would be more of a like I like Baki would be more of a grappler. I do think Yujiro would definitely be like a another grapp. Both of them would really be grapplers, really. But these would just be absolute tanks to fight as guest characters. So 100%, I would love to have either Yujiro or Baki in here. Or, you know, why not both? Next up is another character I think could work. And I think since we had Negan, it'd be cool to have this character. Nothing's impossible, right? And that character, he makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Like, this character makes a lot of sense when you really think about it. And that character is Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. Now, you may be thinking, really, Snake Eyes? Hold up. Hear me out. Snake Eyes works on so many levels. I mean, you have characters like Nina and Raven and all these other spy characters in here. So the world of spies really do like lend itself, uh, and the world of G.I. Joe lends itself to Tekken. Hell, they've already crossed over with Street Fighter in a comic. Makes sense to cross over with Tekken next. Um, I think it would be really cool to use Snake Eyes as a guest character, utilizing all of his, his skills, his Uzi, his smoke bombs, his throwing stars sword hell you could even do a move where he summons timber his wolf uh his pet wolf to do do an attack on you or like bite you and hold on to you for a second so you could do another combo move on on them perfect that would be great and i, I would even add like as an added bonus i would have storm shadow as an alternate skin there you go there you go you get st snake eyes and storm shadow um but he would be a alternate skin um, but yeah, Snake Eyes, I've thought about it, and I was like, yeah, Snake Eyes would be really cool in the Tekken universe. Um, he make, out of all the Joes, 
He's the most popular. He's a character everyone knows, even if you aren't a G major G.I. Joe fan. And I do think he would get some clout. And I think Hasbro really wants to break out G.I. Joe as much as possible. So... I think he. I think um, having Snake Eyes here would be really good, would be really cool. Next up on our list for guest characters, I think the like another logical guest character would be uh, Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Another anime character. Yes, I know. Um, Kenshiro would be really cool. Uh, just imagine like his final move being like "You're already dead," uh, or <clears throat> "Umaira." And then, they, and no matter who your character is, they go, and, th and then they just fucking die. <laughs> so, Kenshiro would be really cool. Um, I think it would be a lot of fun to see him here. There has been, a, like, there is a new Frist of the North Star anime coming out, I think, next year. So, to have him here would probably be, like, gra like a great way to get people, in uh, like, hyped up for that, uh, for that upcoming anime. Next character, and this one's going to be... Hear me out. Because, again, you had Negan, you had Noctis. Just just follow along. Just just follow along for a second. My next character, guest character pick is the T-800. Hear me out. It makes sense when you think about it. Now, could they... Now, why the T-800 model? Now, obviously, they wouldn't be able to afford... Ar uh, like, I don't even think they try to go for Arnold's... Um, likeness they would just have as the exoskeleton because te i mean and again we're living in a game with boxing glove with raptors with boxing gloves a tree man with boxing gloves and a kangaroo and joey who also subsequently box now i'm not saying make the t800 a boxer i'm just saying like yeah and not only that guys we live in a, like there's jack and gun jack and and brian fury and a few other characters that are robots or advanced androids you could have in the story mode for terminator that skynet um was born from the jack program or like had its hand in building them so it sends the terminator this particular terminator to enter the iron uh, the iron fist tournament in order to protect its assets or at the very least harvest their data to better combat the resistance and take as well as when they like also reveal that like a lot of the human fighters and non-human fighters the organic fighters become resistance fighters in the future so that's why the term the terminator sent back in time like i said i wouldn't have like the terminator it would just be the t-800 exoskeleton and i would have it like he could pull out like the blaster rifle or the the pulse rifle um even have just absolutely just crush one crushing blow after another It'd be a really brutal character and again we have robots in the game we had negan i'm just saying the t-800 and plus terminator always gets butts in seats i'm on it i'm honest to god like you know, whenever you say terminator um people are gonna come like "Ooh, really terminator all right even hell we're getting a terminator anime next year this would be great um um, hype for it. This would be really... I think this would be really cool hype for it. Alright. Next character on the list. And this one's more of my personal pr um, preference. That character... Um, I would... Uh, a ne the next character I would love to see in the game, in Tekken as a guest character, um, would be Voss Montenegro from uh, Far Cry 3. Voss would just be a fun character. Like you could, and it wouldn't be hard too because you could have it that he sur because we do know that he survived the end of Far Cry Three. So you could have it that this is like an older, like more haggard Voss, and he's entered the Iron Fist tournament to get money back as well as find out or like get money to rebuild a, cr a new criminal empire. Um, you could have him with a knife. You could have him like just pull out an, an AK-47 and fire. Um, I would even love to like see like his his um his commercial like his build up trail his reveal trailer would be like um he's got like Jin tied to a tree uh, to a uh, to a chair and he Jin's all beat up and then here comes a figure just walking in and he's like Jin Kazama I heard a lot about you but I don't th I think that's all bullshit really tell me Jin and then he leans down and you see Voss's face he goes did I ever tell you the definition of insanity and then you just cut to him uh, like the uh the clips of him just fucking shit up um 
Now, could we get like a Mortal Kombat character? Uh, could we get a Street Fighter character? I do think we could get another Street Fighter character. Anything's possible. Could, but um, could we get a Mortal Kombat game? I mean, a Mortal Kombat character. Realistically, I don't think that's going to happen because they actually moved. The, the word on the street is Tekken 8 moved several months back in order to avoid competition with Mortal Kombat 1. But then again, Mortal Kombat 1 is a very viable game series. So that one, I don't know. I think would it be cool to see either like Scorpion or Sub Zero or like Liu Kang in here? Because we're not gonna, we don't have Law. We're not getting Law on the roster, which eh, kind of sucks. He's an original, and it's it sucks we don't have him. But um, it'd be kind of cool to like as a replacement for Law, we get Liu Kang. But I don't see that happening. I don't think there's gonna Warner Brothers slash NetherRealm Studios is gonna come to an agreement with Konami. I'd be shocked. I would be legit shocked if we did get like, oh shit, we we're getting a Mortal Kombat guest character. Whether that, it would probably be one, it would probably be either Liu Kang, um, Sub-Zero, or Scorpion. Yeah, we'd be shocked if it, if it was gonna happen, it'd be one of those three. Be shocked if it was anyone else. Um, as for like, uh, other characters, um, that's a tough one. Like, that's a tough one. Um, I would really like to see, like, maybe you get a female guest character. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, for who? I would say for a female guest character. Maybe have a little fun with it. Like, okay, hear me out. Maybe... I was gonna say Samara, but I was like, nah, I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that would work gameplay-wise. I'm not saying, like, oh, it's stupid. I'm saying, like, I don't think it would, like, her moveset wouldn't work that well. Um, I will say, like, any, like, anyone's an option. Like, anyone is an option. It's fair game. And I'm pretty sure we'll get a DLC announcement at the, up there's an upcoming tournament, so I do think we'll get a DLC announcement there. But you guys tell me in the comments below, um, who would you like to see as a guest character in Tekken? Just comment below, let me know. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.